welcome friends to this channel dr arms chemistry we were discussing this metal carbonyls and related compound in which we are discussing today means uh, since last time the reactions of metal carbonyls so this part was discussed for last time up to the disproportionation of reactions and today we will continue this topic uh, in <coughs> next uh, reaction the next reaction is the preparation of third reaction uh, fifth reaction this is preparation of metal means carbonyl carbonyl anions Cations and halides. That is hydrates. That is hydrates. So, in this. type of reaction we will see the different uh, preparation of three species that is carbonyl anions cations and hydrides so these anions are prepared by reduction using <coughs> suitable reagents reducing agents <coughs> there are normal or common reducing agents such as sodium metal and there are some stronger reducing agents in which we are making use of sodium amalgam or uh, additional species in order to bring about such reduction <coughs> and thereby can prepare these anions so we will see some examples of such uh, carbonyls <coughs> so by using simple Uh, reducing agents such as sodium metal, we can prepare mono or di <coughs> nuclear means mono or di anions. That is anions. This, for example, <coughs> C M N two N two C O T plus twice N A. So this sodium will reduce this carbonyl to Na two Mn Na two Mn CO five. So here we will get this mono anionic or di anionic species. <coughs> di anionic species. Now we see another example CO. Two CO eight plus twice Na it gives Na two CO CO four. So this CO is carbon, uh, this uh, cobalt, and this is carbon monoxide. Then third reaction is FeCO five plus NaOH. So here we get Na H F E C O four Na H F E C O four and uh, one carbon monoxide is released as CO two. After again addition of Na H, it gives further Na two if we CO four. So, so here we get this is monoanionic species and this is dianionic species. So in this way we can reduce the carbonyl. to mono anionic or di anionic levels how these carbonyls 
are further reduced. So for further reduction, we have seen just now that we are using sodium in liquid uh, ammonia. Sodium in liquid ammonia, that is NH3, or we are also making use of sodium in HM. PA HM PA. So this can reduce. This can reduce. This metal carbonates reduce metal carbonates are reduced to the thermal charge up to 4 up to 4 so the oxidation state of the metal even gets reduced to uh, minus 4 up to minus 4 now here we will see what is this uh, HNPA this HNPA is hexamethyl Phosphor Phosphor Amide Hexamethyl Phosphor Amide So we can have this structure as N CH3 CH3 or we can see AB AB here that this is Phosphorus double bond and AB or this CH3 CH3 then another N CH3 CH3 so these are exact methyl phosphor amide so this is stronger reducing agent compared to sodium in liquid uh, that is sodium amalgam so we will see some reactions concerned with this HNPA for example Na Mn CO5 plus thrice Na in presence of this HMPA and liquid ammonia so here this <coughs> carbonyl is monoanionic monoanion so it gets reduced to Na3 that is tri anionic species Mn CO4 plus one half Na to CO4 Na to C2O4. So this is one example. Another example is K CO then CO4 plus K3 plus K in presence of this same liquid ammonia it gives K3 CO CO3 plus one half K2 C2O4 so here also you will find that this mono anion species is reduced to trianionic species. So this is the formation of anion species. <coughs> then Now we will see how the carbonyl cations are formed. 
कार्बोनिल कटाइस फॉर सो दिस कार्बोनिल कटाइस आर फॉर्म्ड बाय यूजिंग ऑक्सीडेटिव कार्बोनिलेशन बाय ऑक्सीडेटिव कार्बोनिलेशन ऑक्सीडेटिव कार्बोनिलेशन यूजिंग लेविज एसिड्स यूजिंग लेविज एसिड्स इन अनहाइड्रस एचएफ इन अनहाइड्रस एचएफ और सुपर एसिड्स सुपर एसिड्स सच एस एसबी एचएफ एसबी F5. So along with external oxidant, I are more ideal for realizing the cations. For example, a feed. So you will see this example plus HCF2. Plus four SBF five so in presence of carbon monoxide at one atmos and using the super acid HF SB F five at 50 degrees centigrade and for two days after this the reaction gives the product Fe CO6 and this is the cation and Sb2 F11 Sb2 F11 twice so this is the cation species this is the cation and this is anion. So in this way, we get these cations. Another example, for example, is Mn two CO ten plus twice twice H F plus twice BF3 plus twice CO so in presence of this carbon at 0.6 bar and room temperature for 10 days so it gives twice Mn CO6 Bf whole plus H2. So here also we get this <coughs> cation MnCO4. So carbonyl cations are prepared in this. Now we will see the carbonyl hydrides. Carbonyl hydrides. Carbonyl hydrides are prepared from carbonyl anions, carbonyl halides, and dimeric carbonyls. The term hydride is based on the formal oxidation state. However, the preparation of the properties of organometallic hydrides are ranging from hydridic, hydridic to Cation protic, that is protic, protic, cation to protic. We can distinguish these species considering this general structure that is EH. Here, the 
hydrophobic species is having delta plus and this is having delta minus. So this is hydrogen rich and therefore it is called a hydridic. Hydridic. Then we can have the neutron species TH where there is no polarization. And the third category is EH where the E is delta negative and this is delta positive. Now for in order to understand the distinction between these H plus or these uh, species that is uh, this is protic this is non-polar and this is hydridic so in order to understand them we have to consider here this E is equal to silicon that is silicon SIH bond here we have to consider this asperus E is equal to P and here we have to take this E is equal to nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen and oxygen so in presence of this OH bond or NH bond we can have this P is pH bond so here we can distinguish between these hydrodic and protic species so on this basis we can explain the distinction means we can compare the affinity of these various hydrides so based on the nature of metal and the nature of ligand the acidity of these carbonyl hydrides can be significantly compared for example <coughs> it's a synthesis of carbonyl hydride complexes we can have the, we can have some examples such as CO, CO4 minus plus H plus. So this is mono anionic species. So after addition of H plus it gives the neutral HCO CO4 species. And this has PK pKa value and comparable acidity like 1 and this is like HCl so this is having comparable acidity of HCl and pKa1 second example is I2 if we CO4 plus NaBH4 NaBH4 and 400, uh, 200 bar and 150 degrees centigrade it gives this I2 in proliferate of H2 H2 if he CO4 so this has pK 4.7 and comparable with acetic acid. Now the third reaction is Mn2 Mn2 CO10 plus H2 and it gives the twice H Mn CO5 twice H Mn CO5 so this has comparable pKa7 and acidity of H2S. Another example is Fe CO5 plus OH minus. So it gives this H Fe CO4 H Fe CO4 minus and its pKa is 14 and comparable acidity is H2O so this is about the formation of metal carbonyl hydrides <coughs> so in this case we have seen the preparation of these three species carbonyl anions, cations and hydrides now the reaction is columns 
कोलमन स्ट्रीम जंट सिक्स कोलमन रिएजेंट कोलमन स्ट्रीम जंट व्हाट इज दिस रिएजेंट दिस रिएजेंट इज आर सी डबल बार ओ दे आर एनिमेटर लाइक इफी एंड वी कैन हैव दिस सी ओ सी ओ CO and this CO. So this is a Kolmans reagent. <coughs> Now we can prepare this Kolmans reagent by various methods. So this Kolmans reagent has found to be very active for synthesis of various organic species. Organic halogen compounds can be easily prepared by using this Kolmans reagent. So this is called the organic halogen compounds can be functionalized by using this uh, Kolmans reagents. So we will see the example. So for example, Na2, Fe, CO4. So after reaction with is r co cl r co cl we get this kolmans reagent <coughs> another way we can obtain this species by the action of here rx to obtain the na r if we CO4 and further the action of carbon monoxide gives the Kolmans reagent. Now these Kolmans reagents can be uh, suitable to prepare. So they can be used to prepare. We can show this. So this is the preparation. Now the reaction. So this Kolmans reagent can be used to prepare another compound by the action of say H plus to give R C H O R C H O. So this FEC bond is broken <coughs> by the action of H plus, and we get this R C H O. Another reaction can be obtained by the action of R prime X. So it also gives the acetones that is ketones, ketones R C double bond O R prime. So ketones can be obtained in this. Again, we can obtain another that is the action of X two. We can get these. R C O X R C O X. <coughs> so by breaking this bond, we can uh, show the attachment of this R C O C is attached to this X. And another reaction after oxygen reaction of oxygen and hydrogen at the pH plus, it gives R. COOH carboxylic acids. So Kolmans reagent can be used to obtain various organic compounds. Now the next reaction is oxidative decarbonylation. Seventh reaction. Oxidative D. Carbonylation. <coughs> so, carbonyl metal halides are prepared by oxidative decarbonylation and are used as good reagents for the reactions with metal metalated reagents. So, these are examples of like this. Mn. Mn two. CO, pain, 
plus i two gives twice m n c o five i and this after the action of n a c p sodium cyclo pentyl and this one of this uh, c o is removed as c o two uh, carbon monoxide so it gives the mn that is cp mn co3 cp mn co3 so what about this where <coughs> carbonyls are two carbonyls two carbon monoxides are removed two carbon monoxides are removed and replaced by the cp Another reaction is if we CO5 plus I2, it gives if we CO4 I2. So here <coughs> the oxidative decarbonylation means carbon monoxide is eliminated <coughs> by the action of this oxidation by using IV. The next reaction is photochemical photochemical substitution substitution. <coughs> so this is one of the important reaction. So this is most uh, common photochemical reactions uh, in which the reactivity means these reactions are used in organometallic chemistry for the synthesis of various products. Now, if we compare the photochemical reactions with the kinetic reactions, the kinetic studies shows that the real constant for these uh, dissociation of one carbon monoxide is uh, causing the entry of another ligand is causing the entrance of new ligand and the photochemical action uh, accelerates the reaction by the magnitude of 10 to 16. So the rate of photochemical reaction uh, for the replacement of one carbon monoxide is increased by 10 raised to 16. So this is the uh, effectiveness of photochemical reaction. <coughs> Here we will see some examples. For example, if we take this WCO6 plus PPH3 by the action of HU, that is photochemical action it gives the replacement of one carbon monoxide means one CO is replaced by this PPH3 to give WCO5 PPH3 plus carbon monoxide <coughs> so you can understand here there are six carbon monoxides and one of that is replaced by PPH now the second example is a field CO5 plus this CH2 CH CH CH2 by the action of photons that is HU we get this product where we can show this attachment like this if we CO plus twice CO. So in these photochemical reactions, the monodentate ligand, carbon monoxide, is substituted by monodentate ligand 
and results only in the displacement of the carbonyl when it means one carbon monoxide can be replaced by another suitable ligand so that uh, nature of ligand depends upon the nature of uh, ligand whether it is stronger or weaker is compared to carbon monoxide <coughs> so the effectiveness is considerable in this way now if we say this this is because the photochemical excitation of metal carbonyl with a carbon with a coordination sphere of mixed ligands or mixed substituents causes the dissociation of ligand in which <coughs> the most weakly bonded ligand is replaced uh, first or with priority. So any carbon monoxide ligand say out of six can be replaced with priority by other ligand. But the, the, uh, therefore we can say that the attempts to substitute a second carbon monoxide now if we see if we replace one carbon monoxide by say ligand L so we will show you these reactions so we will show this in example like this M is major and these are carbon monoxides MO6 so in the action of HU HU here and the ligand is say THF <coughs> so you can show that one of these carbon monoxide is replaced by this THF and again if we show the action of H nu this THF is replaced giving M CO5 plus THF plus THF now here why this happens so because this THF is comparatively uh, weaker than carbon monoxide THF is weaker than compared to carbon monoxide so this THF <coughs> is uh, means THF cannot remain here if we want to replace another carbon monoxide means uh, in presence of this THF uh, one more carbon monoxide cannot be substituted in, by this photochemical reactions so for this purpose we, we have to use instead of THF we have to use stronger ligand compared to carbon monoxide for example if we see this metal CO6 plus <coughs> means in this HU uh, if we use the ligand PO PO M3 so this PMO3 is stronger ligand we can show the strength of ligand THF is weaker than PO M3. So here what happens? It gives metal CO5 and this PO in three so we are on our side. so this ligand is so stronger that it can replace all the six ligands so it gives uh, P O M A 3 P O M A 3 6 PMO36 plus 6 carbon monoxide. So, with the help of these two reactions, with the help of these two reactions, we can understand the effect of the ligand, the nature of ligand. <coughs> this THF is weaker than this POMA3, means compared to carbon monoxide. If the ligand 
replacing one of the CO means uh, replacement of first carbon monoxide unit is easy but if we try to use again one more same ligand for the replacement of CO it is not possible it gets dissociated and with this dissociation uh, the some space is here you will find that you will find that this formation of this uh, species after dissociation of this weaker ligand so this weaker ligand can be replaced means uh, eliminated dissociated from this mate as a result of which the remaining species shows one vacant space in the coordination sphere so coordination sphere shows one vacant space and this vacant space cannot be filled by another began but it is uh, naturally adjusted by dimerization so this undergoes dimerization giving ends m2 co10 so in this way the sixth coordination is fulfilled by dimerization so photochemical dissociation of carbon monoxide may get closed in this way by dimerization so the gap may also be filled internally by rearrangement this, this gap of sixth coordination can be uh, filled by rearrangement of a ligand such as uh, in case of alleles so we will show in another example if we take this allele this is mn co5 so after the action of hu one carbon monoxide is lost so here uh, you can understand that this mn is bonded to this allele uh, at eta 1 position eta 1 now we get the product so this is uh, carbon number 1 2 3 here only carbon number 1 is bonded to this mn therefore it is called eta 1 allele and here in this case all the carbons are bonded to the mate and that is why the carbon monoxides are lost and it shows the bonding like this so it gives mn CO4 Mn CO4 Here you will find that this uh, allele is having eta 3 with 3 points, 3 carbons are attached to this Mn This allele is bonded to this Mn by way of 3 carbons of allele and that is why this is eta 3 So by the action, photochemical action this allele, allelic species and one way means replacing one of the carbon, one oxygen uh, <coughs> by change, showing the change or using the bonding ability from eta 1 to eta 3 or uh, it can be included from eta 3 to eta 5 also <coughs> so with this we will stop our discussion and we will continue in the next lecture that is next reaction that is microwave assisted reactions so till then goodbye see you next time if not please subscribe to this channel and also <coughs> press the like button and also you can uh, suggest your views on these uh, contents that you can expect whether these are fulfilling your hopes or you want something more 
in these contents. So thank you very much. See you next time.